All right, you have decided that you want to do the scripture. All right, I want you to know up front that you've decided to do something that is uh, is challenging. And uh, if you follow through with this, and I really do hope you do, uh, you will be pushing yourself to get this one done. So uh, it's simple in that it's not very long. It's 11 verses but it's just all vocabulary and it's prose so it doesn't have a rhythm uh, it it'll be interesting for you i'm going to go through the vocabulary here and when i get done with the vocabulary i'm going to go ahead and then record this at full speed and so pick up the vocabulary first and then go to the, to the next part where you'll be doing it like you would be doing at LTC. The things that we'll be looking for is clarity of sign and presentation. Uh, it can't just all be right here in front of you with no expression. You're going to have to work a little bit at making sure that what is in the scripture is communicated. Uh, like I tell everybody with my songs, uh, and I do this at the beginning of all of my videos, the thing that you want, that I want you to really, really focus on, because it'll help so much, is I want you to work, work on learning these things as sentences and paragraphs and phrases and not individual words. If you're here and you're doing the scripture, you've probably seen, had this lecture before. We don't do, when we are just talking to each other, individual words. We do not stop between words and it would drive us crazy. It would do the same thing for the deaf. So learn things as sentences and your signs will flow as sentences. All right. So with that aside, it's vocabulary time. You'll be asked to introduce yourself and your book. Okay. You're going to say X chapter 1 verses 1 through 11. Now I did that really fast but that's about as fast as you should do it. Don't do it any faster than that. Acts A-C-T-S all right chapter it's a C hand kind of coming across your palm that's chapter 1 okay verses is like a little instead of doing a big C across, there's a little G across this way. Verses 1 through, it's kind of like live long and prosper, and come through, through 11. And it's an index finger, just coming up twice, 11, like 1-1, one, one. okay? It starts off with to Theophilus, it is a letter. So, we are going to use the word to. We normally leave the word to out, but it is explicit in this, so we need to we need to use it. And you might be surprised at this. There's no sign for Theophilus. You're going to have to fingerspell that too. There's a number of words through here that you're going to have to fingerspell. There are no signs for. Okay, so to take your first the finger and just kind of point to it. Theophilus. Okay, I don't know whether I spelled that right or not, but that's Theophilus. You finger spell it. And then, in, then it begins. The first book I wrote was about everything Jesus began to do and teach. Okay, we're going to leave out the first, it's kind of touching your thumb, first book, and Jesus opening a book. I wrote was about everything Jesus. I wrote, it's like you have a pen and you're just writing. Was, just kind of go backwards, about, you have your fingers kind of together here and you go a circle around it. Everything, everything, Jesus, touching the palms with your in, uh, center finger, he began to do and teach. Began. Kind of like, again, live long and prosper. And you're sticking a key in the ignition. Began to do 
Now this time we're going to leave out the word to because it's not necessary. Do and teach. Take from my brain, put in yours. Until, it's kind of like to, only it doesn't actually touch. Until the day he was taken up into heaven. Until the day, we'll leave out the, he, Jesus lives there. We're going to point to him there. Okay, he was taken up into heaven. All right, kind of like beam me up. All right, and what you do, this is the sign for like disappearing into the distance. All right, I'm going to do it this way so you can kind of see it. Kind of open hand here and then close fingers there. And where did he disappear to? He disappears to heaven. All right, was taken up into heaven. That whole taken up into heaven is that one sign. Before this, with the help of the Holy Spirit, so before this, that would be the taking up. So before the taking up, before this, with the help of the Holy Spirit, with the help, so with is two hands together, and then help is an A hand being lifted. Holy Spirit is an H. It comes across like you're spreading butter on your hand, and then you realize you don't want the butter in your hand, and you wipe it off. Okay? Holy Spirit. This hand stays still. They're both F hands, and it's kind of like you're sewing, almost. Okay? Holy Spirit. Jesus told the apostles he had chosen what they should do. Jesus told, off the chin, coming out, told the apostles. It's an A hand at the top, moving down an A hand at the bottom. Apostles, what uh, he had chosen, he, okay, or he uh, had chosen. This is sort of a past tense. And we can do he up here, or we can get rid of the pronoun altogether and do Jesus. So Jesus told the apostles that Jesus had chosen. This is sort of past tense. Had chosen. And the way I like to, to picture chosen is you have a row of jelly beans in front of you. And there is a black one on there. Of course, that's the one you want to choose. Because we know the black ones are the best. Uh, then what they were, what they should do. What they should do. Okay, now, the apostles are going to be over here. So we're just going to refer to them over there. Sign for what is this a single finger across the palm of the hand. What they, this is the apostles, should, it's an X kind of hooking in the air, should do. And it's two C hands just going back and forth. Uh, in sign language, that's do and did and does and all those kind of do words. After his death, he showed himself to them and proved in many ways that he was alive. After his death, and see I replaced that, that uh, pronoun, his, with Jesus' name. All right. So after, you just kind of make a little hill here and you go across it. After uh, his death, he showed himself to them. Remember we had put the apostles over here? So we're just going to refer to them. And the apostles will always be over here. So he showed, like I'm pointing to you right here, showed uh, himself. It's an A hand, just kind of pointing. Okay? Showed, showed himself to them and proved. It's kind of like, don't make the slapping noise. I'm just kind of doing that to kind of show you what the sign looks like. To prove, uh, and proved in many ways he was alive. All right? So proved in, and we can leave, let's leave out the word in. Let's just leave it out. So proved many ways 
he was alive. We're going to leave out that and we're going to leave out in. Got it? All right. The apostles saw Jesus during the 40 days after he was raised. The apostles saw the apostles. That's an A hand up here down. Saw. Kind of point to your eye and then come out. You can do it with two hands if you want to. Saw. It's kind of in sign language, your eyeballs are at the ends of your fingertips. So you can look up and you can look down, you can look around corners, you can look on top of the refrigerator, whatever you want to. Okay? Uh, after his death, he showed himself to them and put them, okay. The apostles saw Jesus during its 2D hands coming out and then coming up. During the 40, that's four, zero, days. It's like the sun crossing the sky, you're kind of pointing to it. After he was raised from the dead. After he was raised from the dead. Or the dead, let's do it that way. So after, we've already done, he was raised, this is he's laying down and now he's standing up from the dead. So he's raised, and we're going to do from the dead, all on one sign. And he spoke to them about the kingdom of God. And he spoke to them about the kingdom of God. Spoke, we already did, uh, to them, remember the apostles are over there, about, it's kind of a, a hand here with the fingers together, to circle around, the kingdom. It's K on the shoulder opposite your elbow, coming down to your hip. King, dirty area, that's a kingdom. All right. It's kind of like if you've been in a West Texas dust storm or you've had a muggy day and you kind of feel it in the air. That's the kind of motion you're making here. So kingdom of God. And so kingdom God. And God is out in and up. God. Once when he was eating with them, he told them not to leave Jerusalem. Once, it's kind of like you're striking a match. Once, you start with the knuckles towards you and then you show the knuckles to them. Okay? Once, when he was eating with, eating is putting food in your mouth, eating with them, he told them not to leave Jerusalem. Okay? It's kind of nice. The sign for Jerusalem is J City. There are several other cities in this in this section we're going to have to spell. But Jerusalem we can do J City. Okay? Uh, once he was eating with them, he told them not to leave Jerusalem. He said, Wait here to, I think, wait here, receive promise from Father I told you about, is the way we're going to sign that. We are interpreting, we are not transliterating, so we're going to be speaking their language, okay? And in their language, we're going to leave out a lot of little connector type words. So, he, Jesus, said, wait. Dangle your fingers in front of you this way. Dangle your fingers in front of you this way. Palm is toward you on both hands. Okay. Wait here. And the here is, since the apostles are here, we're going to wait here. Okay. 
receive. I'm going to, you're going to give it to me, I'm going to receive it. Uh, the promise from the Father to receive promise, the P, making a little pop, okay? P pop, promise, uh, from the Father, which I told you about. Promise from the Father, I, or yeah, I, and what we're going to do here is because it's in quotes, Jesus is referring to himself. When I say I, I'm going to point up. See this hand here? This is I when I'm speaking as Jesus. When, okay, so wait, wait here. Receive the promise from the Father which I told you about. Got that? John baptized people with water. John. And you just have to finger spell it. J-O-H-N. Don't say the letters. You know better than that. John. Baptized people with water. You got up, you go down, and you come back up. Don't stay down, otherwise you drowned. You got to get the people back up again. Okay? Uh, John baptized people. It's P's, kind of making a, a up and down kind of thing. People. With water. The W at the corner of your mouth. Water. But, and then you just cross your fingers and then raise them up. But, in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. But, in a few days, a few, you start with the index finger and you go to the little finger. In a few days, you, and it, it's really a y'all, because he's talking to a group, you all, alright, so you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit will be be just a bee coming off the chin baptized with the Holy Spirit. Okay? We've covered all those signs already. When the apostles were all together, they asked Jesus. When the apostles were all together, and we're gonna leave them here, alright? So make sure that every time you're referring to apostles that they're in this area somewhere. So when the apostles were all together, uh, they asked Jesus, they asked Jesus, ask is the same sign as pray, so it's just kind of asked Jesus, um, Lord, are you now going to give the kingdom back to Israel? Lord, it's an L starting at the opposite shoulder, like king, only with an L. Lord, are you going to give the kingdom back to Israel? Are you now going to give the kingdom back to Israel? Lord, are you now give kingdom back to Israel. All right, we're going to drop a lot of words there because it still communicates. It's going to look like, Lord, are you now give kingdom Israel? Those are the signs that you'll use. Israel is a letter I, kind of wiping your chin there. I think we covered all those signs. Jesus said to them, Jesus said to them, uh, the Father is the only one who has the authority. The Father is the only one. All right, let's look at that, how that's done. The only. Start with just one and then kind of turn it around and kind of push it towards them a little bit. Only one 
has authority and it's an A starting at your shoulder and coming out and landing on your on your fist. Authority, kind of like muscles, okay? The authority uh, to decide dates and times. The authority decide days and times, okay? So the authority decide two F hands coming down, going, boom, I'm decided. Days, or dates, days, uh, and times. If you want to, you can put and times. These things are not for you to know. These, kind of like you have a hole, your hand is open, and you're going to use your fingernail to touch each one of your fingers. These things, not for you to know. These things, not for you to know. All right, and no is just to touch your head. Things, it's just kind of did did did, okay? Bounce, 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 or bounce, one big bounce. Are not for you to know. Um, but when the Holy Spirit comes, you will receive power. But when, okay, we've seen but before, but when is kind of like drawing a lollipop. When the Holy Spirit butter and wipe it off all right uh, when the holy spirit comes you will receive power you will receive power it's kind of like authority only it's you come out it's sort of like in a fighting position authority or power excuse me power you will be my witnesses you will be my witnesses. Remember, Jesus is still talking, and it's kind of in quotes. Well, it is in quotes. Uh, you will be, you will be my witnesses. Okay, witnesses is W at the I, coming down to the palm, and then the person ending. Okay, this is to witness. This is a person who witnesses. You'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and in every part of the world. Okay? You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem Okay, we know all those signs in Judea, in Samaria, sorry, it's been a long day, uh, and in every part of the world, and in every part of the world, all world, the whole world is the way we, we were going to sign that. So not in every part of the world. You can do that that way if you want to. Every part of the world. Or you can just say a whole world. After he said this, as they were watching, after he said these, this, as they were watching, all right, see what happened there? I identified the people who were talking by saying, uh, as, I think, after, I'm sorry, after he, I lost my place, after he, I defined it as Jesus, so we know who's, who's talking, after Jesus said this, as they, this is the apostles, were watching, were watching, What's Jesus about to do? He's about to go fly away. So let's turn around and let's watch him go up ourselves. Okay. Uh, he, Jesus, was lifted up and a cloud, a cloud hid him, okay, from sight. 
and you don't have to put from their site in there. Just hit Jesus. So, as uh, after Jesus said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and the clouds hid him. As he was going, okay, as fingers out here and then fingers here, as Jesus, he was going, was disappearing, um, they were looking into the sky. They were looking into the sky. And you don't have to even put it into the sky. They were just kind of looking up there. It's clear that's what they were doing, looking into the sky. Suddenly, two men wearing white clothes stood beside them. Suddenly. If your thumbs are held down by your index fingers and you let them loose. Suddenly. It's a quick motion. Suddenly, two men. All right. So suddenly, two men wearing white clothes. White is kind of lay your hand against your chest and kind of pull it out. White clothes. Um, stood beside them. Stood beside them. Beside them. Stood beside them. Uh, beside is just kind of a hand running down your side. They said, all right, now we got a, a new, we got somebody new here. We know where the apostles are. We know where Jesus is. But now we've got these two fellows dressed in white. All right. So I can't say they because then that would be ambiguous. You wouldn't know that I'm talking about, you think I'm talking about the apostles. So I'm going to, since there's two of them, I'm just going to say they, the two, those two. All right. Now we have identified the two angels and the apostles. And Jesus okay suddenly two men wearing white clothes stood beside them they said men of Galilee why are you standing here looking into the sky men Okay, kind of a hand up here coming down to your chest of Galilee. You have to fingerspell it. Uh, why are you standing here looking into the sky? Why? You kind of point to your head and come out into a Y hand. Why you stand here? All right. All of that should make sense to you because they're still standing there. Looking up into the sky. Make sure that you look up into the sky too. Jesus, and make sure you're talking to them. Jesus, you saw taking up into heaven will come back the same way, the same you saw him go. Alright? Again, I'm, I'm dropping some words here to make the signs easier. Actually, not easier. More correct. Jesus, you, whom you, okay, Jesus, whom you saw taken up into heaven, right, will come back same you saw him go. All right. This is going to be a little bit challenging. Uh, I encourage you to work through all of these scriptures in sections and get to where you can sign each section the way you want to sign it. Make sure you have in your head where people are and how you're going to refer to them. And make sure that when you're talking to somebody, you're kind of directing your conversation where that group or person is that's being talked to. All right. 
So, uh, those are the signs. You're going to spend some time here. Go through it a number of times until you get it straight. When you get done with this, go on to the next place where I will be interpreting it as it's being read, exactly as it would be read at LTC. Good luck to you.